Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana. This is Krishna and today let's take a look at how to install Keras in Python. Okay, so as you already know that Keras is a deep learning library for Python. You can create wonderful applications that rely on machine learning to solve problems. So how to install it? First of all, I'd suggest you to create a new virtual environment. So I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop here. Let's name it Keras. All right, I'm going to open my PowerShell, navigate to desktop, and then Keras. All right, so if you already have virtual environment installed, you can just check for it, virtual env, and then dash dash version. So there you go, it is currently installed. So now I can create virtual environment, virtual env, and then the environment name. It can be env or as the convention says, VENV. It will take just a few seconds. There you go. Now you just need to do pip install Keras. It will collect all the dependencies of Keras and install it. Now I hope you know that you need TensorFlow as well to, for Keras to work at its best. So we also need TensorFlow as well. Now we made a mistake here, I forgot actually, to work with Keras in this particular environment. We need to activate this environment before we can install. So sorry about that. We are going to navigate to that environment. So it is just venv slash scripts and then activate. See the difference here? Now it has venv attached at the front. Now let's check whether Keras is installed in this environment or not. By default, it won't. So pip show keras. See, it did not find that package because that was globally installed, but not in this virtual environment. We need to do that. Pip install keras. It takes just a few seconds and it has downloaded all the dependencies. That's pyyaml, numpy, and every other dependencies actually. See, we didn't have to do this earlier because those other dependencies were already installed in my system globally. But when we work in a virtual environment, all the dependencies must be installed again. I think now it's done. Okay, so as you can see that Keras installation is done. And now when you do pip show Keras, it will show you the version name and summary. It is deep learning for humans as presented on their website, deep learning for humans. So if you want to further increase your knowledge on how to use Keras, you can just get started, use their guides. There are tons of you know materials here. You can create your own API. You can work with single GPU configuration, multi GPU configuration, if you want to push your code faster. Now, one last thing, if you really want to check if you can import Keras or not, we are going to work in Python shell, type Python and then just enter. And if you're working with Ubuntu or Mac, you need to type Python 3. All right, now let's just import Keras. So it has not found the module named TensorFlow. And previously, I just told you before I kind of forgot I was not working in the environment that we needed TensorFlow for it to work. So let's exit out of it. We are currently in the Keras virtual environment. So now we're going to do pip install TensorFlow, just like that. See the TensorFlow library is really, really big. It's 459 MB for a wheel file. So you can imagine what it would become when the files are unzipped or unpacked. Currently, since I am not working with Keras or TensorFlow, I'm not going to install it completely, but you can rest assured that after this process is completed, TensorFlow will be installed and then you can import Keras without any problem. And you can begin working with your deep learning applications. For now, I'm just going to stop it with Control C. See, the process has terminated. We can either deactivate the environment I deactivate and that VENV is gone and now we can exit it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope now you know how Keras is installed in Python and TensorFlow as well. Please like this video, share and subscribe and I'll meet you in the next one. Thank you.